Good morning, vlog. How are you guys doing today? I hope that each and every one of you is gonna have a spectacular day. I'm still in the Alfa Romeo, but this morning I'm headed out to the English car company. We're gonna drive out to a Jaguar shop in uh, Newberry Park. This guy, Harry, works on Jaguars and he uh, works on more Jaguars and he, well, basically does a lot of Jaguars. I got an email from a childhood friend who works there and we're gonna check out Jaguars. And then we got a bunch of other stuff we're doing after that, but we'll get to that. We just arrived at Michael's um, Alpha here. Does this look familiar? Drove that just a little while ago. Uh, Michael's moving cars. We're gonna grab a couple of classics and head out. Decisions, decisions. Um, we were trying to figure out which Jaguar to take. There's this one here, which is new and beautiful and gorgeous. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna take this one because that's that hasn't gone out in a little while, and that's what we're gonna do. Where'd he go? Last time you drove this? Maybe three, four weeks ago, a month ago, a month ago. A month. A month. We're in an English car that hasn't been driven in a month. It's a little scary. It's dripping oil, it's, it's all gone. <laughs> So, can you say the restoration on this was overwhelming? Yes. <laughs> How many interior pieces? 240. Individual. 240 individual leather pieces <laughs> that had to be wrapped. Uh, this car was a mess, but he bought it from a 90-year-old guy that um, uh, insisted on, on taking less than what you wanted to pay. Yes. We agreed on $30,000, and then two years later he called me out the blue. Do you want to buy this car or what? Okay. <laughs> Well, it's probably worth about 45 now. Are you renating on the deal? He's willing to pay him uh, an extra 15k and he didn't want to take it. No. Yeah. Are you renating on the deal? I'm trying to give you more money, Larry. Yeah. No, 30,000, that's where we be. 30,000 on the thing. Okay, Larry. <laughs> I agree. Shop Michael suckered me into coming over here. He's over there causing. Did he drag you up, did he? <laughs> right there. The other Englishman that is nothing but trouble. But well, he's, uh, a, he's a northerner, so that's what you get with the northerners. Yeah, I heard something about there's a whole coffee thing about yeah, that. Yeah, that's absolutely. Okay. Uh, we're at Harry's, and uh, this is a shop in Newbury Park where you focus on Jaguars. Yes. Mostly. British uh, classic cars with a strong emphasis on Jaguars. Okay, so if, you're, yeah. if your car is a mess, it's like a disaster, then you're the guy to go to. Yes. Okay. Is there anything that you don't do on English cars? Uh, no, nothing. I buy them, sell them, export them, service them, restore them. So a one-stop shop. And, and modify them, upgrade them, modernize them. Whatever the client wants, whether you're seeking a 100-point Concours car that's original, yeah. or whether you're seeking something that's a little bit special, uh, maybe a copy of a lightweight E-Type or TWR XJS or something like that, we can do it. Grew up with my father always messing around with his E-Type and his XJ Coupe yeah. and Triumph. So I just found that I naturally um, got drawn towards English cars on the older cars. Yeah, yeah. That said, I do drive a Mercedes new one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Well, a good uh, entry model for a Jaguar is the XJS. They're really starting to uh, take shape, and they're. The prices have started to come up, uh, and they're beginning. They're getting popular. The problem was with the XJS; it was always a nice-looking car. People, yeah. no one ever looks at it and said that's ugly. It's a very sleek-looking car, yeah. but it was a very lazy car. It was a Grand Tour. It was soft on the suspension. Is that the uh, uh, the Saint Jaguar? Yes. The, here's one here. This Boom. is not in great order at the moment. This is awaiting uh, some modification, a bit of restoration work. Yeah. That's an XJ12 Coupe. Talk. So, uh, said to be William Lyon's favourite car. Um, it was basically a two-door version. One sold on bringing a trailer with an American V8, which I like American V8s, but I like them in American cars, not in Jaguars. Okay. Uh, sold for uh, in excess of $100,000. Wow. So they are starting to come up. Yeah. Um, we've actually got four undergoing full restoration at the moment. And we do, we put the later six litre engine out of a 95, 96 car. Mm -hmm. We put all programmable electronic fuel injection on it. Um, we, we tweak up the suspension. We can either fit a six-speed automatic transmission or a five-speed mm -hmm. manual transmission. So we really start to make, it goes from being a lazy, from a fat cat, so to speak, to yeah. a sports car, which is what Jaguars used to be known for. This guy, this is James, uh, James Ritchie. Hello. Now, what's unique about James, um, despite the fact that he's an excellent English car mechanic. Oh, thank you. Uh, as well as other things. But <laughs> we actually went to school together in yeah. sixth grade. Right. Six through uh, high school. At least through high school and almost into uh, Ventura College. Yeah, I, I suppose you have some yeah. as good stories as I do. Yeah. Things that we want to forget. Yeah. Yeah. Best leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> but now, you know, and I think back then, maybe we, we loved cars, but we didn't necessarily share that no, no. experience. I had no, no idea. idea. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, um, Tim was a great illustrator. I mean, I would I see his work in art classes and, oh, beautiful. I, I did. I just remember that I did the, uh, the school t-shirt. Yeah. I wish I still had one of those, but. I don't have it either. Yeah. It probably was pretty <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Uh, so how did you get into, the, into doing this? You know, what is it about English cars? What is it about? being able to, you know, okay. because not everybody uh, works at the level that you guys work at here. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened is about 11 years ago, mm -hmm. I kind of fell into it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been doing many things in my life. Uh, went, went to college, got degrees, you know, the whole nine yards. Yeah. And that didn't pan out. So yeah. I said, okay, what else can I do? And I knew this guy who had a shop in Ventura, mm -hmm. Dave Wellwood. And I called him up someday, one day, I said, hey, if you ever need some help, you know, let me know. About two weeks later, he called me up and said, I need some help. <laughs> <laughs> so I came down to his shop and I worked there for 10 years. And I kind of learned the trade, although I had restored my own car, yeah. my Opel GT. Okay. I had done that. I still have that. I was out front yeah. right now. So I had the background self-taught, basically never took classes, it just kind of came to mind. That's what happens when you're passionate. Yeah, right? and then after 10 years experience there, that stopped, and I looked around for a bit, and Harry Fulford yeah. was, was uh, looking for some help here. Yeah. So then I came up and... And you've, you've been here about three months. Yeah, about three okay. months. Awesome. So I'm still well, here. the stuff is fantastic. You know, uh, James is a good example of doing what you love. Make yourself available. Yeah. That's what I always yeah. do. You, if I find interest in something, I go, hey, you know, you need some help. You want yeah. me to come by. Uh, you, you visit them and you let them know you're interested. You gotta go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. You never know how fate works. <laughs> it's good to see yeah. you, man. You, you look good. Yeah. Thank you. You too.
visit the website www.sportscarclassics.us. Uh, you'll see everything that we do on there. It's a, it's a new website, so we're still yeah. building on images and library pictures and okay. gallery. So yeah. we're, we're all about the pictures. So we've got the Instagram, which is also on the website. So okay. it feeds up every time we update yeah. Instagram. Shop is awesome, man. I yeah. love it. Thank you. Thanks for the tour. All right. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Very cool place. Very cool. Uh, the, uh, Harry's place is where uh, Michael always brings his Jags. He seems to know what he's doing, so that's a good thing. Well, he's English. That's a fucking that's a start, right? <laughs>was fun. Big thanks to Harry and to James over at Sports Car Classics. A really cool shop. They do really great work and they seem to be having a lot of fun. And back in the Alpha, I headed over to my brother's over to Valley Village. We're gonna go get a bite deep. Alfa Romeo. Alfa what? Uh, Giulia. <laughs> <laughs> they just spell it Italian like, so it's Giulia. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was trying to speak Italian. Uh, we, 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 were, we were talking about Blade Runner earlier, so we decided to go to a ramen shop. And that's that's what we're doing, right? Why, why is that billboard important right there? That is Dee's new show, Unsolved. Dee's a producer on this, this uh, show. It's called Unsolved. It's I've, an awesome I've seen show. It. Is it good? Yeah, it's all about uh, the Tupac and Biggie murders. Very oh, so intense, it's something positive. Dramatic, very happy. It's <laughs> comedy. Let's get some ramen. Really good.
Finally, it's time. Uh, it's about 4.30 to go get on the radio. And that means I got to head out to Burbank. Bob's place. Yes. Uh, what are we doing today? We are going to film Gas, the Great American Auto Scene. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about what's hot, what's not, what can be, what could be, and what's going to be. Everything's hot, man. You it's got it. It's got four wheels. It's hot. We're going to be doing that. Uh, good. So we're, we're doing. We're on the radio, but we're also filming. Uh, you guys are filming live, uh, live on Facebook. We'll be live at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Right. We go live. Randy's here. And Randy Cardoon's here too. What's up, baby? Hey, we, got a, we got a full house tonight. I'll tell you what. We do. And then we'll be on gotgas.com as well. Okay. There we go. Ordered that background color. Yeah, thanks for coming. How great. fabulous you look. I'm ready for my spotlight. Why do I keep interviewing people that are so much taller than me? And Octane, Johnny Martinez. <laughs> We're going to have so much gas. fun. <laughs> I have gas? No, he's We all have gas. <laughs> <laughs>